question, raise your hand, please, and we'll try and get round. Tony. Um, great. So, what did you think of your team's performance tonight? Oh, very well in the first half, I think. Really, very well. Uh, as uh, usually in the last uh, two months, we started very badly in the second half. We need uh, a solution. We need to solve uh, this problem because uh, in the last uh, ten matches uh, uh, we started uh, like uh, in this match. So it's a big problem. Uh, but uh, we have to 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 consider the the match uh, for the qualification. Uh, it's not a match with the three points, but uh, probably. At the end of the first half, we thought that uh, we were qualified. But against this opponent, it wasn't true. Because they, they have uh, physical numbers. I have never seen something like that uh, in the last 20 years. For the physical number, for the quantity of running, for the number of accelerations, for the meters in high speed, I have never seen something like uh, this opponent. And so it was clear that uh, the second half could have been uh, difficult for us. But of course, uh, we did uh, something wrong in the, in the second half, in the first 10, 10 15 minutes, because uh, we scored with a kick from uh, 18 meters, I think, uh, without op opposing, opposition. And so we did something wrong. Adam. But we are, of course, we are happy because to to get uh, an European semi-final is not easy. So we are really very happy. What did you tell your players at half-time, and why? If this is the problem, quite often, why do you think that they're not listening uh, at half-time? At half-time, I told them that the target was to start with the same application and with the same attention the second half. But uh, we didn't do it. Why do you think that keeps happening? Why aren't they listening? Ah, I don't know. I don't know, and it's no, it's not easy to 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 understand. Otherwise, we can solve uh, the problem very easy. But uh, it's very difficult to understand why. Probably when uh, at the end uh, of the first uh, alpha, when uh, we 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 lowered the 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 application. Uh, we are not able to to restart to start again immediately, but uh, it's a big problem. Do you think it's your your halftime team talk that's the problem? <laughs> no, I, I can try without going uh, in the dressing room uh, in the halftime. I can try if uh, I can solve uh, the problem like this. I can try. Okay. You are in the semi-finals of the Europa League. You've, in your career, you've played just one final. I think that, that was in February. So in Europe, no, I have never played the final. You've, but in, in in football in general, I think you've never played a major final until February. Anyway, but I've just what is, what would it mean to you to win a? At this level, of course. Yeah. The other level, I played a lot of finals. What what would it mean to you to to win a trophy? The semi-final or the final? The oh, to, to win the competition uh, will be very difficult, of course. Uh, we need to think to the semi-final. We need to study very well the opponents because uh, we want to get to the final and uh, we want to win the competition of course but uh, we know very well that uh, it will be difficult Eintracht uh, for sure is a, is a a great team with a wonderful striker Jovic uh, and then in, in the other uh, semi-final uh, there are two, two very good teams and so I am not happy that uh, Napoli is out because uh, if the final is Chelsea-Napoli, I am sure that at the end of the match I am really very happy. And so 
I am unhappy with uh, with uh, the Nepal South. Uh, for me, I think it's very important to 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 get the final. First of all, to get the final. But uh, this time, I don't want to play the final. I want to win the final. Okay, last two, and then we've got to go at the front here, and then at the back. You know, a knock after about three minutes. Um, you know, he completed most of the game, the remainder of the game. Um, you know, is there an injury there, or do you have any concerns over No, no, no. Uh, nothing serious, I hope, and I think it's only a knock. It's only a strong knock, but uh, I think that uh, we can uh, recover him uh, for the next match on Monday. Okay, last question at the back there, by the camera. Uh, Mr. Say, you've said that uh, you've never seen anything like Slavia uh, in terms of physical preparation. What would you put this down to? And do you think that Jindrik Tepiszewski could be a top European coach? What do you think that they are così bravi? Why these numbers are the other squad? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Probably, uh, for sure, during the season, uh, they... they have had the possibility to have training because uh, uh, we we played uh, the match number uh, 54 of the season this night so we will finish uh, to 60 61 62 matches uh, for us it's impossible to have training we have time only to prepare our matches and probably they they have played uh, only 35 40 matches and so they have played to they have time to 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 a training and uh, sometimes uh, the reason is uh, very easy it's only dna <laughs> it's only a characteristic of the of the player okay that's it we'll leave it there we've got to finish thank you very much good evening